Zawadika. My name is Gili Bak. I'm 37 years old and I've been in Thailand for 13 years. And at the moment I have two businesses. One is Chomp the Comfort Cafe and the other one is Tomato Pizza Pasta and Crusts. Chomp the Comfort Cafe is based in an old teak house on the corner of Samsen Soi Wan. We opened in August 2013 after a lot of renovations trying to save as much of the original building as possible. The concept of chomp is comfort, which relates to our style of hearty home-cooked foods, creative cocktails and other fresh morsels. It's ingrained in how we operate and use our space, the affordability, considering eating habits, allergies and trying to make everyone feel at home. We make fresh baby foods, healthy but fun kids fare, gluten-free items and vegan options too. There's a space for kids to play freely while parents can relax on the sofas and not worry about anybody complaining about noisy kids or breastfeeding mothers. We believe in giving back to our community and provide the space on the second floor to use for free. Regular activities include yoga lessons, the space for kids to learn art, reading and storytelling, along with poetry nights, book launches, we run environmental and education programs, music nights, ending violence against women screenings and shows, monthly art exhibitions, which promote and support local Thai and international talent as much as possible, and more. People's love of food, need for communication and desire for comfort allowed me to incorporate my love of art and creativity along with my passion for conservation into my working environment. Leading change starts with each of us individually and we endeavor to pass this message on to our staff and our clientele. We recycle as much as possible, separating everything and giving it to those less fortunate than us in the community to sell for profit. We use biodegradable and eco-friendly products and even our straws are given to a local temple who teaches handicapped people how to weave them into floor mats and bags. We try and lead by example and wish to provide information that can help others make better decisions on where and how they spend their money or how they change certain behaviours to become part of the solution. The last two years have certainly been a roller coaster ride, from catering to private parties and weddings, organizing events in multiple locations, and fundraising and relief work to help Nepal. In May, I relaunched tomato pizza pastas and crusts, coming up with pizza crust bowls to be used and eaten with salads and pastas, and a sweet version to satisfy dessert cravings, as well as exciting new pizza flavors and toppings that entice the local palates to try different things. Value and Thai and ASEAN. Sustainable growth and development is our focus without the desire to become a commercial franchise. Integrity, warmth and compassion should be part of any successful team or business as it's better for all in the long run. Supporting local farmers, artisans and small producers allows us to help them support themselves and provide a quality and delicious product to our clients. We buy fruit and vegetables from Doi Kum whenever possible. Bite me softly for their brownies and scones, Fun Fun Maison for goat's cheese, sweet hand roasted gong coffee from Kraburi, sausages and bacon from Royce who work within the World Project. We promote and sell Coca Khmer, a social enterprise that makes coconut oils and products in Phnom Penh, and source organic mulberry leaf teas from Kanchanaburi. The next phase is to get higher quality beef that's grown locally to replace the southern Australian beef we use and reduce our carbon footprint. We have been awarded certificates of excellence from TripAdvisor, being featured in multiple articles in an array of languages on TV, printed publications and social media. We constantly look at evolving and growing in positive ways and influencing others to do things in a kind way that benefits businesses in the community and the environment simultaneously. Sometimes going back to basics and old values actually propels you forward. I would love to work with more local brands and up-and-coming talents in the new fields and new arenas. In this rat race of modern living, I think we need to spend more time growing edible plants instead of pretty flowers and reteaching core values to those that we come into contact with on a daily basis and not just adding them as a Facebook friend. I want to find ways to do all this and more, whether it's rooftop farms that grow food for our businesses and share with those less fortunate, or investing in old buildings and reviving local cultures and building bridges between old and new. Despite launching just months before the mass demonstrations and coup d'etat, we made it through without debt or further investment, not allowing any challenges to stop us. You never know what's going to happen next, but as long as you adapt, find solutions and stick to your beliefs, then anything is possible. So thank you for your time and a big thank you to all our friends, family and loyal customers. And remember, lead the change.